from flamingo so let's see the summary and also the important questions which belong to this lesson about the significance of the title you have already read about note making right so you know the significance of the title why this chapter has been given this name the last lesson so this is the story of a school teacher and hanel who taught french in a district of france okay i'll say in 1870 what happened actually the prussian forces there was a war between france and prussia and in this war france was defeated by prussian forces so now two districts of france elsace and lorraine these two french districts were passed into prussian hands now this because prussia is the territory where people speak germany german and this belong to germany ter territory so what happened french teachers were asked to leave the schools they were disallowed teaching of french okay so french teachers were asked to leave and hence this is the last lesson given by one such teacher named m hamel okay so this is the significance of the title i'm hoping that you, it is clear to you now what happened at the there is other character in the story franz franz is a student of mr m hamel okay you should know about the character sketches okay character sketch describing the character the features the good and bad qualities of the character so let's talk about franz first franz was late for school that day he feared that teacher would scold him and also the teacher had said that he would ask question on a particular topic which is participle and he did not even know a single word about participle so he thought of running away that means bang the school he he wanted to run away and spend the day out of doors and also outside the climate was also cool it was warm and bright day so which suited him and it was far more tempting than going to school but he did not do so why now the great of m hamel according to franz he found that mr hamel is very strict so he was afraid of his teacher now what was the situation at school at, at the, that unusual day usually what happens when a school begin you know there is hustle and bustle same was with this school also people were chattering and everything was so busy so noisy and the noise could be heard out in the street but that day because that day was unusual everything was as silent as sunday morning the whole school was very strange looked very strange usually there are benches in classroom right and teacher and students sit on them there were villagers instead of students there were villagers sitting on the back benches that were normally empty on that day everyone was so sad because of the order from berlin so you may be asked by the examiner that what was written in that this order from berlin so the order from berlin berlin is in germany so obviously they are from prussia side or prussia is from berlin side so they had this order had caused a change in the school and that order was now only german was to be taught in the school only german that means no more french and hence it was last lesson that day in the school 
in French, okay? Now, because this is the last lesson, so obviously emotions are associated with it. So teacher addressed the class. Teacher started with reminding them their mistakes, how students were not showing their interest in the studies. Anne Hamill was, you know, finally Anne Hamill told the students that, see, it doesn't matter whether you had given attention to your mother tongue or not, but now it is important. You know that French was the most beautiful, clearest and logical language. And still, you hadn't paid attention. So, you know what? He called upon all the people to guard their mother tongue and never forget it. Because for these enslaved people, holding fast the language becomes the key to their prison. If they want the freedom, then they should hold fast, they should protect their mother tongue. Now, this person, France, who was not good at studies, he had also got the love, love of French language. He said, now see, you know, Fran the German people can enslave the French people, but they cannot take away their love of French language. Why? Because it is in their blood and cannot be finished as long as they are alive. Now, suddenly what happened? If you will be asked to describe the situation at school. Church clock struck 12. Okay. So, as Why we love France? That means, me, France, live long. Okay. And just guess to the students that class is dismissed. So, what have you learned from this lesson? The significance of the title, how many characters are involved, order from Berlin, situation of that unusual day, Now, whenever you are going through it, firstly, after reading this, after listening to the summary, you have to read the lesson. I have given the homework. So, this is homework time. Read the lesson, then come to textual questions and try writing down the answers. If that is done, then move to previous year question papers and try to find out the questions which belong to the last lesson and try solving them. If you have any doubt, you can mark in the comment box. I will try to solve them. Okay. Please reach out to me for any further doubt and stay tuned in this series so that you will be benefited with this series. Okay, if you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.